Inu has issued a no time warning for the period between 15th to 16th December, and the designated range is for 5,400 km. It is highly likely that it could be the much awaited test of the K 5 submarine launched ballistic missile, that has a range of 6,000 km, and can carry four MERF warheads weighing a total of two tons. The K-5 will feature countermeasures to avoid radar detection, and will be the fastest missile in its class, and the MERF capability will be used to hit multiple targets, or the same target multiple times. Hindustan Aeronautics has confirmed, that the talks with Shukhoi Corporation to procure additional kits for 12 more Su-30 fighter jets will take place in 2023. India is also in talks with Russia to get clearance for Super Shukhoi upgrade program, and out of the 12 new Su-30 aircraft, 10 aircraft will carry most of the minor Super Shukhoi upgrades, and remaining 2 aircraft will become the test bed for the comprehensive Super Shukhoi upgrade program, that will feature major changes in whole aircraft systems. During the 4th India-France annual defence dialogue held yesterday, the Indian Defence Minister has told his French counterpart to come up with a final offer, so that India can finalise a joint venture to co-develop a 120-130 kN class jet engine for its AMCA programme. French firm Safran has also offered its services in the development of the AMCA, and their partner companies are keen to supply equipment and other systems for the programme. Defence Ministry has also told the DRDO to fast-track talks with all the bidders in the programme, and once clearance is granted to the AMCA programme by Cabinet Committee on Security, it will take up clearance for joint development of the new engine. While Indian Air Force is negotiating the purchase of 11 more Chinook helicopters from US, the US military is considering to stop buying the Chinook and is looking at next-generation heavy-lift helicopter as a replacement. The next-generation heavy-lift helicopter will enter flight development in 2030, and will have greater speed greater range and greater payload capacity, and the US is considering many close allies like India, Japan and the UK to be part of the program. The RDO's Terminal Ballistics Research Laboratory will soon start testing its pulse detonation engine, in an aerospace configuration, and once completed, it will be used as a propulsion system in cruise missiles, anti-tank missiles and unmanned aerial vehicles. It will be able to generate 2.5 kN thrust for a duration of 30 minutes. The DRDO has also been working on a system to reduce the length of the engine, so that it can be applied in systems like UAVs and missiles. The CEO of Turkish Aerospace has invited Pakistan to join its TFX fifth generation fighter program. The TFX prototype had entered final assembly last week, and Turkey plans to conduct its first flight by 2025. The Western Naval Command has inaugurated an upgraded ship handling simulator at Maritime Warfare Center in Mumbai, that will enable simulation of all Indian Navy platforms including ships and submarines, simulation of beaching operations, and also major ports in Indian Ocean region in all weather and visibility conditions during day and night. The armies of India and Malaysia have started two-week-long exercise Hari Mao Shakti 2022 in Malaysia, and the focus is to enhance interoperability in the planning and execution of various operations in the jungle terrain, sharing expertise in employment of aerial assets, planning logistics and developing new tactical skills.